Halfway between the Grand Canyon and Phoenix is the Verde Valley. On the north end of the valley is the city of Sedona, surrounded by one of the jewels of America's public lands, the Red Rock Ranger District of the Coconino National Forest, the most visited national forest district in America. Millions cherish the Red Rock experience, but powerful outside interests and many Arizona politicians cherish more the land's potential value to the state and to private interests. Over time, much of Sedona's majestic public lands could be lost in pieces to private interests or all of it could be seized by the state of Arizona for development and exploitation. There is a way to preserve our rights to use and enjoy our national forests as we do now, but we need your help. These threats loom on two fronts. First, Supreme Court rulings have weakened public land protections. The other front is happening across America. There is a coordinated effort between powerful and influential fossil fuel interests, giant corporations, special interest nonprofits, and dark money organizations to fund, guide, and control some members of Congress and state lawmakers across the West to transfer public lands to the states. That would require most of it to be sold off or leased to private interests. For example, ALEC is a nonprofit tied to powerful oil billionaires. Corporations pay for a seat on ALEC boards and task forces. There they can create and lobby for model legislation that benefits their bottom line. They vote with legislators on model bills and resolutions that legislators take home to state houses and introduce as their own. Over the last few years, ALEC guided a group of Arizona lawmakers to sponsor a series of bills related to transferring public lands to the state. Today, national parks and monuments are America's Smithsonian Museum of Land. To date, there are 122 national monuments. National Monument is a flexible designation, customized for the area's needs. Protection that stops land trades, new private development, new mining claims, oil and gas wells, and logging on the national forest lands found within the red lines of this map. Public access and commercial uses of national forest lands will continue as today. The only changes most people will notice in the area are national forest signs replaced with national monument signs. If you want to stand up to the wealthy interests who want to exploit our public lands, if you want to take part in protecting this amazing, beautiful, magnificent creation for ourselves, our families, and future generations, we invite you to sign our petition at redrocknationalmonument.org, asking our president to proclaim the Sedona Verde Valley Red Rock National Monument. Then email, write, or call your representatives in government and ask them to support the National Monument too.